What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and I am so freaking excited to start off this episode and this chapter because we get to play as Devorah who is my favorite character in the game. I speculated that maybe we wouldn't get to be her throughout this campaign but it looks like we get to do that right here in chapter numero 6. If you guys are enjoying this series and want to see more soon, make sure to hit that like button. I'll bring it to you as quickly as I can right now though. Let's kick this snake-like, bug-like, insect-like chapter off the right way. Sonia, ease up. You kill me. Never fight. Amulet. Move, move, move. Sonia, we need that info. Sonia, don't make this another thing you regret. Talk. The Quatan jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. You have new information from Earthrealm? Kano talked. Gave us the details on Melina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her, while this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Stealth is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Cora, we will grant their request. And I will finally be rid of Melina. <laughs> this one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Like others, this one is not heed with Melina as common. But it is not clear your crew will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that... <laughs> There they are. Three of your fellow counselors, whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only you would hear our counsel. As war with Netherrealm looms, I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers! You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last, before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct, formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you? I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! This one serves Nelina no longer! Ah! You will defend your Empress! Our creator Shao Kahn is dead. We will serve whom we choose. <laughs> Shao Kahn conquered my realm. I owe him my loyalty. 
I honor his will. Oh dang, it's Baraka. He's not even in the game, but he's in the game, and we're at Grandma's Palace again. Let's use her to our advantage. Get got, Baraka. I love Devorah so much, even if she is wearing a creepy bug bra. I do think we should hook Slim from Evolve up with Devorah. I think they'd make like a sweet insect power couple as we throw apples at Baraka and tear him claw from claw. I am the better of the weird, pokey limb people. He's got an x-ray, but it's not going to matter much if we get the quick KO. That was almost a perfect victory. Crazy start to this episode. Uh, first of all, you get to beat Devorah, which is awesome. Second of all, Reptile with no nose tells Melina that she was born in the Flesh Pits, which I think is an ironically hilarious uh, turn of events. That's my favorite move in the game. This, like, bug pokey pokey thing. It's like, if bugs use Facebook, they would just do that. Alright, anyways... Uh, one of the other best moves is that, where you can pop this, like, bug pustule grenade underneath. Or you can just shoot them with pus directly. Like, check this out. Hold up. Come on, Baraka. Can I please get this move? There we go. A little bit of yellow mustard gas in Baraka's face. We're almost going to get an x-ray, it looks like. Let's see if we can do such a thing. Oh, just missed that. Okay, alright. <gasps> so close to an x-ray, Baraka. Alright, here we go. No. Oh, I just missed it right over his head. Did you see that? That was insane. No? Oh, yes! <gasps> Got my favorite move, and we grab the win, Devora. Oh, God. What the heck was that? Ooh! It was like a fatality? Oh, my God. <gasps> Holy crap, a mid-campaign cutscene fatality. That was totally disgusting, but awesome. <laughs> Baraka is dead. Your last ally has left you. Take her away. Serve the new ruler of Outworld. Then you serve Kotal Khan. He's a lot less blue than I remember him. Back to modern time here. There. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish. You fill the void. Exactly my plan. A shame you will not see its fruition. Oh boy, Devor and Rain going to battle in the puddles. This cannot be to our advantage. First hit awarded for Venomous Devor here, so she's gonna now spew Venom. Uh, we still have the like grenade pop, but it does less damage um, than Rude Mother, who's like summoning way more fancy bugs. You can see here. Um, Bug Burst is a special move, and then Poison Ovipositor Charge. Poison Ovipositor Charge. It's a weird word, by the way. All right, let's, let's get that going. I'm in a bubble. Bubble girl, bubble girl. Although, I guess what's unique is that it does poison damage, um, whereas the other one, it is my favorite move. It's just a poisonous version of it, yes. which makes it even awesome, more awesome. Stick the tendril through the throat. Break his back, and then we glow. That's a first-round victory for Devora here against Rain in the jungles. Uh, Devora also has, like, teal blood, so she reminds me of, like, a gusher. You guys ever have gushers in your little? Devora is, like, the freaking, like, a, a gusher come to life, basically. All right, Rain getting serious here. 
yes, I poisoned him. A little bit of poison damage goes a long way. There's a really sweet environmental uh, throw here. Yes, there you get to see it. He did it to me, but I wanted to do it myself as well. We're going to put Rain in his place real quick. Looks like Devorah is going to take the throne. Not freaking Rain or whoever else wants it. I am the beast. Good work. Your schemes end here. Leaving without your friend, Devora? Your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Katin do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. She is a Katin. I don't even know what that is, but Tanya is about to find out firsthand. Come at me, Tanya! I want to grab you and put you in the rock. Ooh, okay, good. Dodge that, grab her, and throw her in for a little stage interaction love. Okay, Tanya's pretty cool. I didn't even know this, but Tanya is one of the DLC characters um, as part of the combat pack. So when you get like Jason and Predator, um, what's her face? Uh, Tanya is, is one of the characters you will be playing as. So she serves more than just a distraction from Melina. She actually is going to be in the game uh, in you know, not that much time at all. I think the four DLC characters come out over the course of the next two months. Beautiful. Do we have a brutality with Devora yet? <gasps> we do. Migraine. Devora must have over 50% health. Player must hold towards during the final hit. Final hit must come from Avapazer charge. And I have to hold towards during the hit. And then I can execute Migraine. Weird as weird. I'm going to try to do it. I'm not promising anything. You've seen the x-ray. Um... So we'll, we'll try to get a little crazy here. So it wants us to end with the, the move that I like, that move, which is poisonous, I guess, in this round. I think that's just like one of the coolest moves in the game. Of, of all the new characters, like Devorah seems to have the most um, like originality and just kind of crazy Mortal Kombat charm. Uh, I guess I didn't do that. Hold it during the final hit. Madness. Now two Daniels will die. I know you said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. Let us go. Skip aside. The amulet. That? Is really disturbing. <laughs> Devora. Uh oh. This one knew you would not stray far from the ambulance. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it. Neither was meant for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life. Oh, Melina. You look cuter with longer hair. I will make you pay for this haircut. She's piercing Melina. And I will be pushing Devorah as I throw her into that wall. Yes! A little love from the Avapositors. Whatever the heck that means. I'm going to try this brutality thing one more time as I gush more gusher blood out of my body here. Okay. Yes, extra poison spray. Ooh, Melina getting a little bit fierce here, though. Wow. You don't say, Melina. Oh, I nearly got it. I was like trying to hold forward as I was hitting. That's a tricky thing. You uh, unlock the brutalities like through the crypt and other things, by the way. If you're curious how I made that happen. Ow. Have some beef. For some of these teleporting characters, like Devorah's moveset is not as great. So like, you know, the, the scorpions, the melinas that can kind of move around with the speed. A little bit trickier. There we go. Head smash. Guess you forgot about that attack. I held it! I don't know. It's harder, I guess, in the story mode or something because they don't even let you do fatalities. Enjoy your death. 
Well, looks like that wraps up Devor as a mission. We complete Chapter 6 and make our way to Chapter 7, where we'll take on the role of Takeda. I am super excited to see where this goes next. I've been really enjoying this game and enjoying pushing these out as quickly as I can for you guys. If you appreciate it and want to see more, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, when we return as Takeda, drink some hot chocolate. Thanks again, and we will see you all later.